alone at last. No interruptions. You promise me, if anyone knocks on this door, you are not going to answer it. Oh, they are mm. going to have to break the door down to keep me away from you. Mm. So nothing's going to interrupt my love making. Nothing. Mm. I love you. Half as much as I love you. Often as I've been a guest here, I can't remember where the powder room is. You can use the one in the east wing, corridor upstairs, the third door on your left. Clark, can I ask you something? Sure. You've been close to Ivy for years. <laughs> yes, since she was a little girl. Then you were with her when she made that terrible decision to leave the boy she loved and marry Julian? That's correct. I can't imagine how terrible it's been for her. I mean, to be living with a man she doesn't love when her heart still belonged to the young man in her past. Well, there was nothing to do, Grace. After Ivy married Julian, the young man made a life for himself. A good life for the woman he loves. But still, I... It's over for Ivy. I think that one day, she and her first love will be reunited. Oh, no, that must never happen. Why do you say that? I mean, Laura, I, I just have a feeling that when a love is that strong, nothing can ever make it go away. What about the man's wife? If Ivy resumed their love affair, it would destroy her. Yes, it's a real tragedy. No matter how you look at it, somebody's heart is going to get broken. Ivy's my friend. And I have to say that I'm... I'm rooting for her. I mean, you know, I don't know this other woman from Adam. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. It's a good thing Julie's not here now. You'd have to be blind not to see that Ivy's in love with Sam. Or someone who's so in love with him she doesn't see what's right in front of her nose. Oh, Julian, there you are. I, I wanted to tell you what a wonderful party this is. And you and Ivy must be so proud of Ethan tonight. Your son is a lovely young man. My son? Yes. I, I wanted to tell Sam that he and Ethan must have just gotten off on the wrong foot. Well, perhaps in time they can bury the hatchet and become closer. Ethan and Sam. Perhaps they will. <laughs> Would that be nice? They're dancing together. Oh. Don't worry. I gave them permission. They do dance well together, don't they? Perhaps you and I should keep an eye on this too. <laughs> Ivy is in Sam's arms, just as Julian is about to hit 10 on the Richter scale. You see, your mother doesn't have any problem with Chief Bennett. Can't you try to get to know him better? Teresa. I'm sorry, but even if I tried to make peace with him, he wouldn't accept it. Just don't get along, that's all. But it is good to see my mother looking so radiant. I can't remember the last time I saw her this happy. Now look at the look on my father's face. It's so intense.
perhaps there is feeling of this love this evening. If so, Timmy could whip up one of the special martinis and that Timmy could use oneself. If so, would just point Timmy towards the bar. I think this is Mrs. Crane's room. You could probably use hers. Yeah, I suppose. You know, I'm trying to reach your house, but nobody's answering. Oh, don't worry. I'm sure the girls unplugged the phone just so they could tune in early. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna swing by and make sure. Leave Teresa on her big night? I mean, Luis already left. I'm sure she'd really like it if one of her brothers stuck around to the end. Yeah, I guess. Miguel, don't worry about the girls. Believe me, this is one of those once-in-a-lifetime nights. Nothing terrible is going to happen to anybody. My father looks terrible. I wonder what's going on. I'm sure it's nothing bad. You know, it is almost midnight and nothing bad has happened. You're a tramp, Ivy. A tramp and a slut! <laughs> 